two of a four-game set against the Toronto Blue Jays. Whit Merrifield will be in the lineup against his former team. Whit Merrifield tribute to the fans here tonight, and he acknowledged the crowd as he was warming up. He'll be in right field. Another windy night in Kansas City. Kikuchi making his first start of the season, and boy, did he have a great spring. 0.87 ERA across seven Grapefruit League appearances. All-star caliber pitcher who's coming off the worst season of his career. Bobby Wood Jr. will lead off. Nice play by Guerrero diving to his right and he wins the race to get the out. That gold glove is gleaming for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on that play. He robs the speedy Bobby Witt Jr. of perhaps extra bases. We're back at Kauffman Stadium and the fans cheering right now for the opponent because it is the first at bat for Whit Merrifield and we'll let you hear that a little bit. Whit Merrifield led the American League in games three times, led the league in at bats three times, lined to left field, but right at Olivares who makes the catch. 2-2 to Dozier. Fly ball out to right center field, hit well. On the move, Merrifield goes into the slide and makes a backhanded catch. Wonderful play by Witt. Fly ball left field. Varsho coming over near the line. Sets up, makes the catch, runner tags. Throw to the plate is right on the money. What a throw by Dalton Varsho, easily getting Matt Duffy at the plate. Varsho makes the catch, displays the arm, had it on the money to Jansen, and they cut down Duffy. Bo Bichette flied out to deep center field in the first inning. One, two. Lined right back up the middle, a base hit into center. The hit parade continues for Bo Bichette. One out base runner for the Blue Jays, trailing 1 0. Vladdy walked his first time up. And there's a base hit into left center for Guerrero. Bichette around second, easily into third. And the Blue Jays with runners on the corners and one out. So a great opportunity here. Matt Chapman is the batter. He had a base hit his first time up. Sharply hit and into left field, a base hit. In to score Bichette. Garham on base. Whit Merrifield leads off the top of the fourth inning. One, two. Pulled down to third. Past the backhand of Duffy and up the left field line. Merrifield bolts around first. He'll motor into scoring position. Tricky play. Uh, you could see right off the bat. That had a chance to be trouble. Duffy can't handle it. Runner at third, one down. It's an RBI opportunity for Santiago Espinal. That one swung on and missed. Bounces away and Merrifield strolling home. So it works out. The wild pitch will give the Blue Jays a two to one lead. So that puts him at first and second with one out and brings up Nate Eaton. Two two swing and a miss got him with a fastball an elevated heater from Kikuchi. Nicky Lopez the second baseman tonight. Can he get Nicky Lopez and get through five. The two two on the way and he got him a great slider down and away Lopez swings over the top of it. And if that's all, it is a terrific five innings and a very encouraging first outing of the 2023 season for Yusei Kikuchi. Royals trail the Blue Jays 2 to 1. We begin the top of the sit. Dalton Varsho leads off. With the Blue Jays leading 2 to 1. And Varsho sends one in the air, fairly well hit to the opposite field, and it's gone. Dalton Varsho's first home run as a Blue Jay. And it is now 3 to 1. Boy, oh boy, when he starts hitting the ball the opposite field, that's nothing but great signs. Matt Chapman is the batter. Matt Chapman, line drive, right center field, and he's done it again. It'll be his third hit of the night, his third double of the series, and he's now got 11 hits in the first five games, which ties a franchise record. And here's Varsho trying to beat out a bunt for a base hit, and he's going to do it. We have talked about it briefly before, but this is a real weapon for him. When he has gotten a bunt down, try to beat it out for a base hit in the last two years. He's tried it 16 times. He's made it 15 times. Now Danny Jensen at the plate. A fly ball to right field. Eaton racing over towards the line. It's dropping and it's fair. The throw to second is in time. It's going to be a fielder's choice in an RBI. Jordan Romano will get the bottom of the ninth inning with a three run lead. The 2 2 fastball in the air out to center. Kiermeyer is there, makes the catch to finish the ball game. Blue Jays snapped their three game losing streak with Merrifield back in action against his old team. He had a hit and drove in a run, made a nice catch as well. Nice, well rounded team victory tonight.